Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Today is probably being uploaded on New Year's Eve, hopefully, or either New Year's Day, which is tomorrow for me. Um, I just want to thank you everybody for a great New Year's. Um, it was a it was a year for me. Um, we gained a lot of new coasters, a lot of new subs. But I think one of the biggest year that one of the biggest things that came out this year was not just the new roller coasters I got the ride or the new subs. It is meeting new people in the community, like new enthusiasts and hanging out with enthusiasts at theme parks. It was really fun. Overall, 2021 was an up and down year for me. Some parts in the beginning were pretty bad, but then the other parts, the rest of the year was really good. Really good year and a really good year on me for YouTube. I got a lot of new subscribers, over 400 to actually be exact. And I want to thank everybody for sticking around this channel as I went through three channel names this year. Growing with Central Florida Thrills. But I'll be a new permanent name. It's not changing anymore. So don't worry about new name changes in 2022. But I want to thank you everybody for um, coming along with me in this journey. Uh, this is my second full year doing coaster content on YouTube. 2020, not 20, I did coaster content in 2019. But 2020 was my first full year and this is my second full year. We're at 844 subs at the time of recording. I, that is, that's something I never thought I would ever have. But... Before I before we end off 2021, let's do a little bit of a YouTube style rewind, and yeah, let's see what I uh, make for this rewind type thing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy my little bit of a um, throwback to 2021, saying goodbye to this year. So enjoy the video, everyone. Wait, we're, we're less in a minute. We're less in a minute. Wait, which one are you on? Like, I'm on the NBC one. one. NBC one. Oh, NBC New York? NBC News. Oh, God. 55. 54. Bro, it's already... It, hit, it just hit 12. It just hit 12. It did. Happy New Year's! By the way, I actually want to let you know that those were actually my first words. I am not proud of it. Let me just be honest. <laughs> that was a very crap way to start 2021. But back to the program. Hey everybody, I'm Sadie the Spiegel right here back at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay for another Iron Glossy construction update. There's Iron Glossy. Here's the entry sign. Too bad there is no construction walls over here down, but it's only by the entrance and parts of over here. This place actually was open the last time I was here and got tons of new things. We'll do another construction update and maybe we'll actually do testing on Monday for its once a month testing. So ride those tests once a month. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys had a good time watching the video. We had some awesome angles and all that. See you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe and share. I'll see you guys next one. Bye bye. I'm coming up the number 5 spot, we have Icebreaker from SeaWorld Orlando. This is a Premier Rides multi-launch or quadruple launch coaster coming to SeaWorld Orlando and looks like to be one amazing ride. At the number 4 spot we have, we have Pantheon from Bush Garden Stamp Bay. This is an intimate blitz coaster and yes, you might be saying, well, why is Pantheon this low? But now we're going to move on to the number 3 spot. And that number 3 spot has to go to Jurassic World Velocicoaster, going to Universal Islands of Adventure. Velocicoast is probably one of only three coasters that actually opened up when I, this year that I was supposed to ride. It was only one of two, and I gotta say one thing, I freaking underestimated it when I ranked this. This is by far the best roller coaster I've ever ridden. Intimate and Universal did a masterpiece. This is the full package of a roller coaster. I, I, like, what can I say? It's just a full package. I even listened to myself from back then. I even said it would have been a great ride. No, it's more than a great ride. It's literally the most elite intimate out there, in my opinion. So yeah, let's see what the other um, rankings are. <clears throat> Iron Gwazi's on here. We all know what happened with that ride. Take on a highly themed roller coaster with inversions for rock work and all that. One of the highlights of the ride, I think, is that Airtime Hill into the Hardline Roll, which that looks freaking insane. Let's do the second half. 
But coming up to the number two spot, we have Jersey Devil from Six Flags Great Adventure. The new for 2021 RMC Raptor Coaster. Holy crap, guys. This thing just topped off a few days ago. Hi, I'm back, and I'm going to give myself a mini review of Jersey Devil Coaster. Now, in here, I said it would have been the second best coaster. Um, I think I actually ranked this one perfectly. This RMC, in my opinion, is underrated. People tend to hate on this ride because of the pacing. I don't mind it. I love this ride to bits. I love this ride. I do not understand how people say it's a bad RMC or it's the worst one. Nowhere close to being the worst one. Yeah, it's on the weaker side, but any RMC is great, and this ride's phenomenal. I don't know why people hate on it, even though the animation's like super unrealistic. But yeah, that's Jersey Devil Coaster. Enjoy the rest of this. We're gonna have killer airtime coming out of it, and this final finale of Benny Hills just look amazing. I gotta say one thing. I am very excited for this coaster. It definitely is worth the trip to go back to Great Adventure. That is one thing. And I gotta say one thing. I think it's gonna be a great ride. This is a perfect addition. Great Adventure needs this, and I'm just super excited for this. Going at the number one spot. No surprise, Iron Gloss. RMC that I've ridden, and it's in my top 5. Twisted Timbers is one amazing ride. This sucker is an airtime machine with plenty of inversions, great airtime moments, and one amazing drop. I love the airtime in this ride, and I can never get enough. I wish I had an RMC that's open at my home park, but currently I do not. But coming to number 3 spot is a one and only Lossy Coaster. Oh man, this coaster, I don't even know how to, I didn't even know how to comprehend this ride on the first ride. Yeah, my most recent night ride being a front row ride. I don't even know. I still don't understand how this ride is this good. This ride gives some amazing airtime. The inversions are great, and the whole ride in general is just amazing. Go through a raptor paddock. What the heck? You're going through a raptor paddock. I am so amazing. Jersey Devil Coaster from Six Flags Great Adventure. I may be flamed for putting this this high. I absolutely love this coaster. I find it's probably the most underrated roller coaster of 2021. People have been bashing it for its bad pacing. Uh, when I wrote it, it wasn't that bad. I loved it. Wrist drop was awesome. The camelback was awesome. I still, I'm like everybody else saying that the stall is the best element. But honestly, you guys need to start talking about Jersey Devil and how good it is. This ride is so much fun. I love this ride so much. I literally got 10 rides on it in an, in literally an hour. It was, granted it was a walk-on, but it was worth those 10 rides. I literally sacrificed some of the other roller coasters in the park just to get on this ride more than once. This ride was just so much fun, and it's definitely a must-do when I go back. It is the Batmobile. I just said it's the Batmobile. I'm just Batmobile. I, don't, I still don't know how to say it. Oh, we're gonna go get lunch. Alrighty, so here's a little bit of Little Devil. Actually, it looks like construction is going very fast. We got some supports, and some track is already in place. So yeah, that's actually pretty nice. which is surprising for opening. Um, it's a bit weird. They're not using the extended queue, so the line must not be that long then. Oh wow, they're hauling the trains. Wow, look at this. Train goes to the first half or goes to the hard line roll. That is amazing. They got them on time dispatches with people on them. Watching Velocicoaster from Seuss Landing running, it, it, they're, they're dispatching the trains on time. I know they go for like a 49 second dispatch, but it's running really good right now and they got the dispatches on time. No wonder why 
went from a 150 minute wait all the way down to a 75 minute wait. In State Parkway did get repaved. Most of it, looks like. This tiny baggage claim. Holy crap. There's literally only three carousels. Mr. <laughs> Conspiracy is for a little bit. Anyway, so Let's go. the ride off of can the ride off of Candemonium yesterday, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. She was hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was annoyed. She was straight up annoyed. Was like, I well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it, everybody. That was my year review of 2021, basically, in a nutshell. That wasn't really what normal people would probably do, just make a commentary video talking about. I actually didn't want to do that. I did that last year, and I thought, like, do I really want to make a five minute mini video of me talking about this year? I wanted to show my favorite moments from the year. And there you go. Those were some of my favorite moments of 2021. Now, I didn't include every one of my favorite moments. There's actually some moments I actually wanted to include on here that I didn't. Um, so yeah, because the video would be like 20 minutes. We're already 11 minutes in. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment, subscribe, tell me guys how your year was. And let's just hope that 2022 was better than 2021. Let's just hope so, guys. Make sure you guys comment, subscribe, share this video to get out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next year, guys. Bye.